wood fibers. This is very interesting because we talk about materials that are made of processed wood fibers. Normally we think of fibers as being something that comes from a different part of the plant, but they actually do make things out of wood fibers. That becomes very interesting. First thing we look at, they found out that if you treated wood with nitric acid, you made something called nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose was a flammable type material that burns very easily. It was used to make the first artificial plastic, which was called celluloid. Celluloid was often used for the production of film. The original films, therefore, were quite problematic because they would often catch fire. They would melt. They estimate that a lot of material that was made on celluloid film is now actually gone forever because the material degrades over time. It's fairly reactive. Then they found new methods by which they could produce plastics. They started using those methods. They made a much better material. Nitrocellulose was the first form of material that was used to make plastics. It was done by treating cellulose with nitric acid. We have what we call rayon. Some people call it viscose. They take cellulose from wood. It's solubilized with a strong base. It's treated with carbon disulfide. Then it's forced through spinnerets to make an artificial silk. Then this artificial silk is spun into thread. The thread is used to produce cloth. Then the cloth looks like this. This is actually a close-up of cloth made from rayon. You can see how it's kind of shiny. It looks kind of like silk, but it is not silk because it's actually made out of cellulose that you might get out of a tree. We have acetate. Acetate is cellulose. It's mixed with acetic acid, acetic anhydride, and a catalytic agent. The material is dissolved in acetone, then spun out of spinnerets. By doing that, you get material. It can be used for clothing. They could make a photographic film or plastic out of it. They used acetate in order to be able to make things like filters. And the filters would include cigarette filters. This is made out of acetate. You can see how it's a much shinier product. You can see the various colors. It looks almost plasticky. It is a good example of a piece of acetate. These are cigarette filters that are made out of acetate. And you can see the one on the left-hand side is unused. On the right-hand side, they've been drawing the smoke through it, and it's removing tars and nicotines and all sorts of other things that are totally undesirable products. As such, you have something that is useful because you have a filter made out of this particular type of material. And we have cellophane. Cellophane is basically viscose that is made in a sheet form. It's normally used for packaging. Cellophane is normally shiny, crinkly, and doesn't heat seal well. When you buy things and cellophane packages, normally the cellophane is glued together. We make what we call cellophane tape, which is scotch tape. This is almost a plastic-like material. It's very good material for putting things into because it allows for proper moisture regulation. It is not good in the fact that you can't heat seal it. It's got to be glued together. This shows you some cigars. These are Don Victoria cigars that are made in Paraguay. They are wrapped up in cellophane wrappers. These are all made out of wood fibers. In the end, they turn out to be absolutely transparent. When we look at wood fibers, there are a lot of different ways that we can put wood fibers together to make materials. Some of these materials become very important in things we do.